Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Capricorn February 26, 2023. Plans may come together with finances, work, or other practical matters today. Your eye for improvement and desire to cooperate are guiding forces. The moon hits the bottom of your solar chart, and you seek more safety, comfort, and familiarity for a couple of days. This is the time of the lunar month when you nest, and it's great to center yourself. Still, activities through which you can have fun, impress, create, and share are in strong focus as the day advances. You become aware of unusual ways to enjoy yourself, perhaps through a key person. Creative self-expression comes easily and naturally. Just mere days ago, a new trend began. Pallas, an asteroid tied to wisdom and strategy, awoke within the seas of cancer. Asteroids are linked with more subtle frequencies in the cosmos, but powerful, nonetheless. Pallas brings us insight into how we can strategically learn from particular themes and situations in order to build a better path forward. In Cancer, she has encouraged you to turn within and reflect on your past, your home, and your parental connections and how you let them affect you still to this day. It is by recognizing these patterns, you become empowered. What can you do with your money? As a hard worker, you may begin to see the fruits of your labor come to fruition. Now is the time to think about what you can do with your financial security and prosperity as the Sun in Pisces sextals the North Node in Taurus. You may already feel aligned with a goal that you want to finance. It could be buying property, setting up a new professional opportunity, or something else. Just know that you are on the right track as long as you keep saving your money and working hard. After a congested start to return to your income sector last weekend, the sun is gaining clear air just as a friendly aspect to the south node in your work sector is doing the same on the job front. This is the same aspect that Venus formed when she moved through your income sector and the moon earlier in the week, but the solar spotlight is making things even more transparent. When the planets are in harmony you can expect to feel psychically in tune with what is most important to you. You can sense how important it is for you to exercise before you do anything else. When you get your excess energy out at the gym or in a challenging yoga session, for example, you are more likely to say what you mean and mean what you say when you are with your friends. Pay attention to your inner wisdom. Take time to consider whether or not you give your relationships with your family enough time and care. While your career endeavors often take a great deal of your time and energy, these important people need to have a little, as well. You are apt to be more aware of this on this day. Rather than just thinking about it all, take the initiative to spend time with your family. It doesn't need to be a long time, just quality time. The moon's return to your home and family sector has come with perfect timing, for here for the next two days this will be a chance to make things close to home a priority over the weekend. This is the point in any week where there is often more focus on home and family, with the moon making it easier to remain emotionally and intuitively engaged. However, this last visit before Venus returns and with Jupiter now less than three months away from his first visit in over a decade, this is set to become something that isn't just contained to the weekend. As the moon crosses the lunar nodes it is making any work and life balance issues more obvious and the timing couldn't be better. This is something that will always precede the moon's return to your romantic sector and since Mars return in August this has become a lot more important. With the moon just two days away from its last visit to your romantic sector, before Mars leaves, this work and life balance reminder couldn't be more timely. Our eyes in the sky. Today, the sun moves through the astrological sign of Pisces and forms a powerful connection with the nodes of destiny. This celestial event brings forth an energy that inspires you to focus on your physical well-being. Take a moment to connect with your body and consider incorporating some light stretching exercises into your routine. Despite the ongoing responsibilities that require your attention, the day is likely to unfold at a comfortable pace. This will allow you to approach your to-do list with a relaxed mindset and make meaningful progress without feeling overwhelmed. Additionally, 
You may find yourself drifting into daydreams as a means of escaping the monotony of daily life. If this happens, embrace the imaginative visions that emerge and allow them to inspire you. Trust that the creative impulses that arise during this time can guide you towards new possibilities and opportunities for growth. Overall, today's astrological alignment offers a powerful invitation to prioritize your physical well-being and engage with your imagination. By honoring these energies, you can tap into the full potential of this day and create a sense of flow and ease in your daily routine. The moon leaves behind its void of course phase and enters the stable and grounded sign of Taurus. This cosmic shift brings a heightened emotional sensitivity to our physical bodies over the next couple of days. If you find yourself feeling off balance or disconnected from your physical self during this time, it's essential to prioritize self-soothing activities. Consider indulging in a relaxing massage or taking a long, luxurious shower to help you feel more present and grounded. In addition to these soothing activities, nourishing your body with healthy and satisfying foods can also help you feel more in tune with yourself. Consider incorporating fresh fruits and vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains into your diet to support your physical well-being during this time. Another way to connect with your physical self is to spend time in nature or work with tactile creative materials like clay, earth, or fabric. These activities can help you ground yourself and reconnect with the present moment, providing a sense of stability and security. Overall, the moon's journey through Taurus is a powerful reminder to prioritize our physical well-being and tune into the needs of our bodies. By embracing self-care activities and connecting with the natural world, we can cultivate a deeper sense of grounding and presence in our daily lives. After sunup, Venus opposes Ceres, confusing our ability to care for ourselves and others. Venus in Aries speaks to our desires, and what we now want is to serve our own independent needs. We are more self-concerned when it comes to making romantic decisions. We strive to take up more space within our partnerships, demanding the freedom to express our feelings honestly and spontaneously. Yet Ceres, the goddess asteroid of nurturance, is transiting Libra, a sign of balance and harmony. Ceres encourages us to support others by being a voice of reason. It wants us to surround our loved ones with beauty, and to nurture through subtlety rather than direct force. When these two bodies clash, we feel like it's impossible to meet others' needs, or our own. Our behavior in relationships can get downright weird, confident and assertive one minute, shy and reticent the next. Our emotions are big, but we fear showing them and coming off too strong. Naturally, it may be better to wait for a more opportune time for romantic declarations. Otherwise, we will confuse others by attempting to play both the lover and the mother role, and that can get unattractive fast.